Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. Got the lights back on. Um, so during the last show, which I record all these in one day, this is the bulb, and it's like destroyed. I got all these pieces of the ceramic thing, all these little pieces of ceramic that are on the edges of the thing here. So... Um, I don't know, again, if that was the wax paper, because I had wax paper that I was using to diffuse the light, uh, suggestion from Carlos Pena. Um, and there was, you can see those kind of smoking, but I also know that sometimes these gels show that little smokiness, like a steam more than anything else. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm going to do it without the wax paper right now, just because um, I want to get through the next few of these. It could have just been that the, the light bulb was ready to go. But, um, yeah, it, it, it was gone. So, um, hopefully, the, uh, in the last episode, well, I will have known by now, by the time you see this one, if the uh, background got affected. I mean, Final Cut does a really good job of, I don't know, man, Final Cut does a really good job of uh, um, taking out everything that's green. If you saw from the Honig Sauvignon Blanc wine, it like took everything green. Like, look, this is actually kind of a greenish bottle. So, um, it's probably looking kind of brownish because of the background. All right. So, with that said, let's get right into it. So, this is the uh, 2010 Pickpool de Pinay uh, from Gerard Bertrand. Now, this is out of the Coteau, the uh, the Coteau du Languedoc, uh, part of uh, Languedoc Roussel, and. Um, the Pickpool area, or Pickpool is is the uh, is the grape, and it is a white grape. And I thought I had something about it. Maybe I didn't. That was stupid of me. But well, basically, it is one of the um, most planted grapes in the area. Uh, it's in the Rhone area and the Languedoc area, but it's one of the most uh, most common. Oh, sorry. It's, well, it's 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 grown in a lot of spots, but there's a couple of varieties: you have the Picpoul Blanc and the Picpoul Noir, and you also have the Gris, which is the gray. Uh, but this is the Blanc, which I would assume it is. And um, anyway. Uh, I got this because it had the little, again, the point of sale thing about being the best value winery from France. Wine Spectator Online, February 2008. Now, actually, um, if I remember correctly, this is showing up, I think, in my latest edition of Summary a Journal. Um, not this exact wine, but I thought that this uh, a pick pool was, was put as a value, a good value wine. Bought it at World Market for $9.99. And again, it's a white grape, a white wine. So uh, let's get right into it. Now, I've had a pick pool from Texas, and uh, it tastes pretty good. And this is where uh, the last time I went to Max's Wine Up, I got all confused because I heard about pick pool, and well, that's a French grape, so the, I must be drinking a French wine. It wasn't French, it was Texas. All right, so not as aromatic as that last wine from uh, South Africa, but a little bit of aromatics. More fruit-driven. I get kind of a citrus, maybe a tropical fruit um, on it. It's pretty faint. I don't get much floral or um, maybe some minerality. Maybe some rock, stone type of stuff. 
maybe chalk. I don't know. Not made of chalk, but you know, a little bit of stone stuff. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, kind of hit on the back end a little bit, mid mid palate to back end. So. Acid is usually the first thing I notice with the white wine. It's about medium, medium minus acid. Um, but still good, good amount, about medium acid. So good amount of acid, get the mouth watering. But I got this really nice flavor on that mid palate, but it's, it's already kind of gone. The finish is not really long. But it's I'm trying to breathe in, get that, that aroma into the nose. Not grapey, but there's there's something about it. It's it's a fruit, and I'm not really sure what um, what kind of fruit. I mean, I, I I'm kind of going with almost an orange or tangerine type of thing. Um, you know, some lemony lime type of flavors too. But I get that kind of almost, not quite orange, maybe it's an orange peel type of thing, but uh, really nice. Um, I don't get any floral, I don't get any, I really don't get any minerality on the palate. Maybe a touch of it. Maybe a touch of, yeah, t yeah. now I'm starting to get that kind of wet rock type of, of thing. I think it's really good. Uh, for 10 bucks. I think it's a really well-made wine. Um, everything's nice and contained. It's, uh, uh, I, I probably preference probably like, like a little bit more acid, but something wrong with the amount of acid it has on it. I like it a lot. Man, kind of two for two on the white wines for uh, today's stuff. Sometimes white wines can be really hit and miss for me, but uh, some good flavors. Uh, get the, get some nice aroma. Again, again the uh, Shannon from South Africa was a lot more aromatic. This one's got some, so it's not so bad. Um, for saying I thought the light went out again, um, but uh, really good. I'm going to give it an 88. It's a little tad lesser than the last one for 9.99. If you can find it. Definitely, definitely get it. We really like it a lot. All right, so um, I don't know if uh, if you if you've been catching on that I've been doing a lot of this stuff live now. Um, so I've got an account on Justin TV now. If you go to my if you go to the actual channel, you might you'll see the live stuff. It, they they say it only stays up for about a week or so, but it looks like it stays up for a little bit longer than that. But um, I do broadcast live. It's not really watching the live feed instead of watching this, is not really going to give you much as far as after the fact. But sometimes in between takes, I, I talk a little bit. It's kind of boring, to be honest, probably, if you're watching. Because a lot of times, I'm just going to go, Ooh. I try to talk to the camera so that keep people engaged. But um, if you're interested in doing it, you know, I tend to do this every two weeks. So uh, I'll probably do the next, the next one in two weeks, which will be, well, not two weeks for this. But um, let's see, today is the... What is today? Today is the 16th of April, even though this episode is like Friday. So whatever that day is. So I'll probably be doing another set of episodes on the 30th of April, usually in the afternoon, but I might do it in the morning if I can get and I might out of bed early enough and get up, you know, get going. But um, I usually try to do it then. All right. So um, stop by. All right. That's going to do it for today's episode. Enough rambling. Thanks for stopping by watching this. Uh, stop by the website. There'll be a link to this uh, winery. Um, th there wasn't a whole lot that I could get off of their website really about the particular wine. Actually, that this, this exact wine wasn't even on the website, but they have a lot of other wines uh, in the southwestern part of France. Um, southeastern part of France, I'm sorry. Um, so, But I'll have a link to that. Leave some comments below. See if you've ever had this wine before. And uh, friend me up and hit the donate button. Uh, that's going to do it. We'll see everyone again next time.